By modulating key physiological responses to environmental stresses like drought and salt stresses, our lab is involved in developing environmental stress-resistant crop plants. In this regard, a key scaffold protein that negatively regulates drought and salt stress resistance pathways in model plant Arabidopsis is targeted for modification. Previously, genetic inactivation of the protein function resulted in drought and salt stress resistant Arabidopsis plants. Therefore, we reason that instead of genetic inactivation, a chemical inactivation of the protein will result in the same resistance in a user-friendly way that can potentially circumvent the GMO approach of developing drought and salt stress resistant crops. By utilizing the crystal structure of the protein, dozens of small compounds are isolated through in silico small compound library screening. The compounds were selected as to their potential capability to bind to a key functional pocket of the protein, which is predicted to eliminate the key function of the protein. Efficacy of two compounds as to their ability to provide salt stress resistance in tomato plants is evaluated in this experiment. The three plants on the left were treated with 250 millimolars of salts, and the three plants on the right did not get any salt. From left, plants 2 and 3 also received 50 micromolars of the small compounds, whereas plant number 1 received only the solvent. Without the small compound, it is clearly evident that plant number 1 is showing clear signs of salt stress-induced chlorosis, which can effectively inhibit the carbohydrate manufacturing capability through photosynthesis. However, compared to plant number 1, plants number 2 and 3 show clear resistance to salt stress as evident from the lack of any chlorosis. As control, plant number 4 received only solvent and plant numbers 5 and 6 received only small compounds and the plants appear to grow normally, thereby providing evidence of lack of any toxicity from the compounds themselves. Modulating chemistry of the compounds for increased efficacy, utility of the compounds in other stresses and in diverse crops are being evaluated. Whether the compounds can be safely used like fertilizers without any adverse effects on the environment and on human health will also be evaluated before commercialization of the compounds. Similarly, the same effect can be seen from drought stress. The two plants on the left received 150 milliliters of water with solvent on day one, but the right three plants received 150 milliliters of water with the compounds. This video was taken after 10 days.